Occupation of the Palestinian land lies at the root of all crises in our region and any action to deny the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people, including with regard to the holy city of Al-Quds and particularly Al-Aqsa Mosque, will only result in more bloodshed and rage, Koshru said in an address to a United Nations General Assembly meeting in New York on Friday. He added that bids aimed at legitimizing the Israeli occupation in the Middle East region by rejecting the historical realities would gravely undermine peace, Press TV reported. Iran strongly condemns the U.S. recognition of Beit al as the Israeli regime's capital and the plan to transfer the U.S. embassy to this holy city, he said. The Iranian envoy emphasized that the unilateral act constitutes a grave violation of international law, as any territorial acquisition resulting from the use of force is illegal. The U.S. action is not only illegal but also indicates how hypocritical its policy is with regard to the peace and stability in the Middle East, Koshru said. He added that the international community holds the U.S. and the Israeli regime responsible for all dangerous consequences of this reckless and illegal act. Throughout history, occupation and peace have never gone hand in hand. The case at hand is no exception, and there can be no peace and justice as long as the occupation of the Palestinian land continues, he pointed out. Large groups of Iranians took to the streets across the country to protest against the U.S. move. An Iranian-Armenian religious leader and the country's Armenian lawmakers decried the controversial decision by the U.S. president, Tasnim News Agency reported. In a statement on Saturday, the Armenian Orthodox prelate of the Diocese of Tehran, Archbishop Seb Sarkeesian, denounced Trump's decision as a wrong and cruel move that is unacceptable to the followers of Christianity and Islam. The holy city of Quds, the cradle of monotheistic religions, will remain as an indispensable part of Palestine, he said, warning that Trump's move undermines efforts to establish peace and safeguard the rights of Palestinians to gain independence. Moreover, two Iranian-Armenian parliamentarians, Karen Kenlari and Georgika Bramian, condemned the U.S. decision to relocate its embassy to Quds as a move against international regulations and historical and political facts. They also warned that the move by the U.S. administration has been induced by the international Zionism. The U.S. president on Wednesday defied global warnings and said Washington formally recognizes Beit al as the capital of Israel, and will begin the process of moving its embassy to the occupied city, breaking with decades of American policy despite widespread international opposition. Israel has occupied East Beit al since the 1967 Six-Day War. It annexed the area in 1980 and sees it as its exclusive domain. Under international law, the area is considered to be occupied territory.